Yeah, okay, that was a bit of a new brutal metal intro. But anyways, uh, today we're going to look at Iron Brigade. Yes, we are uh, pointing at me here. We're looking at Iron Brigade, which was recently released for free for gold members on Xbox Live. And this video is dealing with the Rasputin achievement, uh, mainly the scrap and emplacement kills needed to earn the outfits that are necessary to earn the achievement. Uh, at request of John Bleach on X360A. So as we see here, I've got the uh, the chassis, which uh, will allow me to get cheaper fort or fortifications. This is in Horde. Emplacements. Normally there are 50 scrap each for the ones I'm using, which are the massive machine gun turret. And then I have some mine and a sniper one, but those aren't really necessary. So instead of being 50 or 40 scrap, it's only 32 scrap, which will help. So, we're going to start out right here. Uh, you have 100 scrap, each is cost 32, so I'm going to put two up in the front and then throw one up on the side, as you see me climb up here. First enemies will spawn by the side. Also, this video will have a lot of fast cuts. I will show m the majority of the playthrough, but I'm only going to really slow down to talk about specific uh, waves and points if necessary. So right here, I don't shoot anyone. I do notice this turret is actually not killing the one it's shooting at for some reason, so I do kill that one, but once I clear him out, that, that does that pretty well. Also, don't really worry about your uh, base health, just because um, I finished with like 15% the first time I did this. This was my second recording, and it was much uh, better this time. I finished with around 45%. It doesn't really matter as long as you actually finish the mission. And I was nowhere near close to dying as uh, the trench the entire time. Alright, you'll see me here now plant an additional emplacement uh, machine gun turret near the bottom of that right path. And just kind of wait out for this uh, cutscene, and those are the knobs. Good news is those each spawn, or these, those each count as one kill, and will uh, give you pretty much a scrap per kill, which is good. On that first wave, I think I did kill some, just because I didn't want to waste that uh, turret that I had placed there, so... Overall, you still will net around 300 kills and around 1,000 scrap in about 15 minutes. I've done short runs of about 13 minutes, and my longest one was probably 17 or 19, so give or take. But you do, as long as you disuse all the machine guns and best judgment on your weapons, it is pretty easy to get those numbers in about 15 minutes. I also recommend uh, beating the main game. First, because that'll level up and get you the gear and weapons that uh, you'll see me use. See me throw down our turret there. And also being in the game will help you earn progress towards these challenges as well, rather than just uh, trying to boost from not, and that's just unnecessary. Alright, so here we go with the first uh, wave here, first wave enemies on this round. So on the blitzers, I believe I do shoot these just because they can cause quite a bit of damage and it's only three enemies, so it's not like I'm wasting a bunch of kills that my poisons could get. Also, one of my machine guns does uh, shred plus ability, which allows more scrap to spawn from them. So you'll see me here just kind of sitting next to these enemies collecting scrap, not necessarily taking damage. And you won't see my health bar move uh, very much further down below what it is now. I lost a lot of health in that first wave because the, my turret wasn't killing it for some reason. But I don't lose very much health out of the 15 waves this map has, if I remember correctly. Also, you see me here, I will shoot these, uh, I forget what they're called, but they're the ones that will shoot at your emplacements and they have little turrets on the back. I shoot them because they can quite... Uh, they can cause quite a bit of a mess uh, with your emplacements in your base if you don't take care of them. So it's only about three or four kills, maybe. So it's it's less pain just to kill them instead of trying to get the kills with the turrets. You know, see me playing a lot more turrets over here. It's because a lot of these uh, Tommies, I believe they're called, uh, will spawn on this side, and they need a lot of turrets to take them out. All right, and so this is Big Willie. With these bigger enemies, I tend to go up and shoot them with my turrets. And you can tell their health is getting low because the little blue square next to their name, which is like the TV, I suppose, it'll start blinking red, as you'll see in a moment, and that means it's low in health. That way my turrets can still get the kill, but uh, it takes a lot less time and effort 
So I think this one gets killed before it even gets near my base. And by the time I get down here to deal with these Tommies, uh, my turret's already taken care of them. you also see me get a big chunk of scrap on this wave, which will help me build a lot more turrets. As you can see, I'm putting down right there. So I'm about 16 before I kill them. I do shoot them a little bit more to help out. And now you'll see me pick up. Now I'm up to uh, what, 116 scrap, which is going for another 3 or 4 turrets. Also, upgrading your turrets is a good option, but especially with the knobs and the later waves, they can still destroy them pretty easily. I'd recommend just throwing down as many turrets as possible. Just fast forwarding through some more simple basic enemies here. And so yeah, the knobs, uh, the machine gun turrets will take them out pretty fast. If you see a bunch of them heading towards one of your emplacements, I'd recommend shooting them just because you don't want to have to waste the uh, emplacement. And you'll see me shoot the blitzers here just because, like I said earlier, it's only a few kills and you don't really want to have them wreak too much havoc. Just uh, easier to kill them off first. Fast forwarding a bit more. And uh, like I said, uh, it takes about 15, so around 13 to 17 minutes on average, so about 15 minutes per game on average to get around 1,000 scrap and 300 emplacement kills. To get the achievement to unlock the two pieces of clothing, you need 2,500 emplacement kills and 25,000 scrap collected. So, assuming you start from scratch, if you do this roughly 8 or 9 times, that should net you the 2,500 emplacement kills. Uh, you'll have to do it less times, assuming you've actually beaten the levels before. And that'll also net you around uh, 8 or 9,000 scrap, maybe a little less, because I, I usually get just under 1,000 scrap per run through on this. Um, and there's another method to farm scrap against Farnsworth, which I should have a video uploaded. Uh, soon. Otherwise, this is still a good method uh, while you're doing emplacement kills. Alright, now you'll see me uh, finish the mission here and go to the stats screen. So yeah, about 41%. I finished with around 50 one time and as low as 15 before. Uh, like I said, never really too close to dying or uh, losing the health of the base. You'll just see me cycle through here to the gear I unlocked just because, you know, whatever. Also, I do have the DLC, so I'm a level 12. However, if you hit the level cap of 10, which is fairly easy to do, you'll have most of these weapons. So you'll see here, uh, 26 weaponized kills. I still manage 321 emplacement kills, uh, just around 40 under 1,000 of scrap collected. And so, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.